importance of the safety net. That is a unique and fortunate combination of talents uh, for us at this time. So it gives me great pleasure. I've, I've introduced him to Charlie at a number of events. This is the first time I've gotten to say, uh, welcome, Governor Baker. Now, therefore, I, Charles D. Baker, governor. That part sounds pretty cool. For the Commonwealth of Mass, <laughs> do hereby proclaim the month of March 2015 to be Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month and urge all citizens of the Commonwealth take cognizance of this event and participate <coughs> fittingly in its observance. Congratulations. One of the best kept secrets in Massachusetts is actually a company that plays in this space. They're located in Watertown. They're called Athena Health. How many people in this room before I said Athena Health? How many of you are lying? And we have a huge opportunity to be a major player in an industry that's this big today, but is going to be this big 10 years from now, and is going to have a profound impact on everything associated with the way we think about healthcare. One of the great things about this program is it creates purpose. It helps young men and women discover <laughs> the excitement and the joy was starting to understand how it all fits together. I congratulate you not just on your 70 years, but I congratulate you on all the lives that you've changed over that 70 year period. And I look forward to seeing you continue to overperform in the years ahead. Thanks very much. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. African Americans, Hispanic or Latino Americans, certain groups of veterans, and people with disabilities. These populations continue to see barriers to job growth and employment with an average annual unemployment rate of between 7 and 12 percent, despite the fact that we, average, we have an average state unemployment rate that's under 6. And in many of these communities, unemployment is nearly double the state average, which is unacceptable. And today we want to take a closer look at the reason for why some of these targeted populations are historically under or unemployed and how we can do a better job of addressing those needs. The executive order I just signed will convene an eight-month task force on economic opportunity for populations facing chronically high rates of unemployment. <laughs> I would really like to get a, a ruling from the mayor on a particular space saver. There's a chair that Governor Patrick left in my space at the State House. I haven't been able to park there, and I, I really need the mayor to, to help me out. Could you, could you have somebody come up and remove that for me? Congressman Lynch. Congressman Lynch. Okay, I'll get right on that. And I think one of the things we should never forget is that these are organizations that have the ability to change lives. Now, I've heard a lot, to use a Patriots analogy, and I was thinking about this as I was listening to Josh talk. I've heard a lot of people talk about the fact that, gee, it's too bad Joe Revis is going back to New York because he's a game changer. No. The Boys and Girls Club are game changers. He's a football player. There's a big difference. Thank you very much. Tissue, tissue, and I must part to buy.